I'm now going to demonstrate the otoscopic examination. The otoscopic head is put onto the handle, and the speculum, the largest diameter speculum, is used. In order to visualize the patient's tympanic membrane and external auditory canal in the right ear, the examiner places his left hand on the mastoid process and pulls up, out, and back, thereby straightening the external canal. The instrument may either be held this way to enter the canal or this way. Either way is acceptable. The most important part, though, is pulling up, out, and back to straighten the canal. In doing such, you will straighten the canal, place the speculum into the external auditory canal, and visualize the external canal and the tympanic membrane. You'll notice the malleus, the umbo, the light reflex pointing anteriorly, and perhaps other ossicles in the middle ear. To examine the left ear, the examiner uses his or her right hand to pull on the tragus and earlobe up, out, and back, and the otoscope can be entered into the external canal either as was demonstrated on the other ear or held in this manner, and the speculum is inserted as I'm demonstrating now.